Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We haven't played Car Crushers 2 in a very long time. Like, I think probably three to six months. And the game is updated a lot. And there is more to do than just car crushing. We actually now have racing in the game. Now, how do we race, you might ask? And that is a very good question. I have no idea. So we're just gonna go ahead and figure it out today. Um, One of the most expensive new vehicles in the game is this FT6 Super Drill. If you guys want to see a video on this, let me know. But today we're going to focus on the racing, and next time we're going to focus on this absolute beast. But I believe this is the nicest fast car that we actually have. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at this today. And uh, apparently there is a new stat, which will say our uh, actual speed. So if we look on the right side, it has 255 miles per hour top speed, and apparently a 21 acceleration, which I'm not sure what that number is in reference to. Uh, race class and it's 100 so not sure what all of that means let's check out the customization though as you guys can see you can now upgrade a bunch of stuff like the battery voltage motor cooling magnetic propulsion and whatnot and this is all done with scraps and credits and apparently we do not have many scraps so we're gonna have to stick with what we got the customization is pretty insane we even have things like spoilers rims this is pretty cool and interior as well. So this is really neat. Car Crushers has gone pretty above and beyond for customization. Either way, let's take this electric beast and uh, see how the racing works. I, I genuinely have no idea. So let's go down over here. What do we got? This looks like a racetrack right up here or something. Um, I don't know what this is. Island Tour. Okay, that's pretty cool. I don't know how many people are actually racing. Um, but yeah, let's hop into this and I guess just invite the whole server. The UI looks a little bit bugged, but no big deal. Um, PvP, oh wow, okay, yes, PvP on. 100 rating, um, we can go down to whatever we want. So these are different classes. So our car is an X tier, but we have S, A, B, C, D, and yeah, all the way up to basically X. I don't know if anyone's gonna join this. Hopefully somebody does. I like that you can customize all of these different settings. You can legitimately customize uh, what race you're doing as well. This is super nice. Okay then, so we have waited a little while, but we have our good friend Miner in the game and uh, he wants to race. So we're gonna go ahead and ready up, see if he readies up as well. <laughs> yeah, oh God. <laughs> He's got an X-Class car as well. So, uh, oh, PVP, I didn't turn PVP on. Hold on, let me cancel, PVP on. I don't know what difference that makes. I think we can collide into each other or something, but uh, yeah, it's me versus Miner. And if you guys don't know, Miner actually works on this game, like like actually works as a developer for this game. So we're gonna see how this goes. I'm picking the best car I have. Hopefully he does the same thing or maybe something even worse would be nice, but I'm not expecting to win this one, guys, to be honest, we'll see how we do. This is a very good setup. Here we go, he's got the Vulcan. I feel like I do have a faster car, which should help. Yeah, this is nice. You know, for a game that's been on Roblox for as long as I can remember, it's honestly amazing to see them branch out into different things like this. Oh God, oh God, oh! Yo, I can't believe we actually smashed up the car like this. I have to say, I really love that. That makes it feel really authentic, and uh, if this game wasn't called Car Crushers, and they just used the same physics for a racing game, that would be freaking sick, but... To have this in addition to everything else just makes this game even more in depth. If I didn't crash, I feel like I could keep this up, but uh, we've only got three laps to do, so this is a really good race. Yo, all I know is one more crash, I'm done for. <laughs> like literally one more of those accidents, oh god, and I'm done. Uh, leaving race. Oh, don't wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. So if you miss a checkpoint, it puts you on a countdown and you've got like five seconds. And if you don't, uh, you don't get back to the checkpoint, you basically lose. So, uh, I should probably practice this a little more, but, but just a first impression of the racing system, it's, it's really good. It's honestly really good. It's really fun. And, uh, I'm really happy about it. This is the last lap. I wouldn't be surprised if Miner already won this. But uh, we'll see. We'll see how we go here. I love all of the performance modifications you can do with the scrap parts. And I like the idea of it too. Like you, you can't just spend money and max out a car. You actually have to get the scrap parts. And to get the scrap parts, I suppose you have to destroy cars. Uh, hey, I'm in first place somehow. Did Miner crash or something? Am I about to beat Miner in a race? No way. This, this has never happened in the history of racing games, by the way. Uh, no, I didn't. I lost by two seconds and I totaled my car. Great. 
I feel like they should do something that actually kind of shows off the race, like where it actually is located, because it's not that easy to find. Either way, let's get into another one. I'm going to invite a couple of people this time and just see if anyone else was going to join, because the more the merrier. So uh, yeah, let's see how this goes. We've got three people in this one. Um, Island Circuit, that's what we did, right? So let's do the longer around the world. Uh, PvP, sure, we'll turn that on. Let's see how this goes. First place gets 56 credits. I don't know if that's a lot. I don't think it's a lot. But yeah, the race is gonna start in three seconds doing the island tour. I'm excited, man. All right, here we go. Um, okay, someone else has picked the same car as me and then Miner is in that purple car. Uh, oh wait, I think we're doing the same race again. Okay, that's fine too. We're warmed up now, so we should get a better time. We got, I think it was like 33 or one minute, 33 seconds or something. So not, not too bad. I feel like I, if I didn't mess up at the beginning, we would have been fine. Did someone activate a nuke? Oh wait, no, this is a different race. Nice. Okay, didn't expect this, but uh, here we go. We're going down the airport drag strip right now. That's sick. Okay, we're cutting back in. Oh God, okay, 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 okay. Did not expect that big turn. And I think I might be kicked out here. Hold on, hold on. Oh, there's Miner. <laughs> no, <laughs> I got to catch up to Miner. Come on. I think my car is faster. It should be. Let's see. Oh no, his is faster. What the heck? But it's not over yet. This is actually just a one lap race. Yo, what the frick is this race? Okay, these turns after like such a long straightaway are so unexpected. Okay, here we go, come on, come on. Facility is about to explode. The escape helicopter is leaving in 30 seconds. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's nice. Um, I don't think we're gonna survive that. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna see if we can complete the race before the end. This is like the most dramatic race of all time because after we finish, we all die. So, and I think I'm already out of the race. Yeah, that was an unexpected race. There's a lot of like sharp turns and stuff like that, but okay, we're all gonna die anyways. So uh, I guess there's nothing to worry about. It doesn't really matter who wins or loses. We all kind of lose. Well, anyways, it was nice knowing you guys. Um, See you in the next one. <laughs> and now we get to watch as the entire map is obliterated. To be honest, I didn't really like that second race as much. And I think there is only two races at the moment. Uh, I liked all the performance modifications. I thought that was super cool. And obviously the new racing system is amazing. Like it came out really good and really intuitive. Um, but I think if there was like a little like uh, text or something that says that there is a racing location would help because you can't really know that there's racing unless you go out of your way to find it. And that's a really good system, so they should advertise it more. But for that, I will wrap up today's video here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you want more and you wanna see, uh, what's that new car? If you wanna see a video with this giant super drill, let me know. I feel like this could be a ton of fun to, uh, to just destroy other people in the arenas with. So let me know if you guys wanna see that. But until next time, I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care and I will see you again very soon.